and welcome to my August reset. All I know is that it's like 100 degrees and I'm already sweating. That's July for ya. If you are new here, my name is Emma. I make these reset videos at the end of every single month, but I also make a lot of faith and motherhood and lifestyle content. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. Today, we're just going to kind of talk about the month of July, how I feel like it went, how my goals were, and then we will look into August and set some goals for a new month. Before we get started though, I did want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Osea. I love Osea. I've worked with them before. I have not stopped using their products since I worked with them several months ago because they are so good. Osea has clean, vegan, and cruelty-free seaweed-based skin and body care products. One of my favorite products that I have been using from them for a while is the Undaria Algae Body Oil. This stuff is so good. I use it pretty much every single night after I get out of the shower. Normally I notice in the summer with just being out in the sun and getting more sunburned that my skin starts to get more dry. And this summer I have not noticed that at all. I actually feel like my skin has been more hydrated than ever because I have not stopped using this stuff. Lately though, I have been pairing this with the cleansing body polish. It exfoliates, cleans, and moisturizes in one easy step. It instantly brightens and smooths any texture that I have in my skin and it leaves my skin feeling so soft and smooth and just silky and moisturized. And then after I use the body polish, that's when I go in with my algae body oil. It is clinically proven to instantly improve your skin's elasticity and deliver a deep moisturization. Separate these products are $100, but you can get the duo for $84, which is $16 worth of savings. Plus you can get another additional 10% off when you stack my code. You can check out the duo using the link down below and use my code, which is Emma UCBP and get 10% off of your order. Another thing that I like to do at the beginning of a new month is reset my space. So the first thing I do is wash my sheets because there's just nothing better than a set of clean sheets. I also went around the house and washed all of the pillows, like throw pillows that we have on couches. And then the other thing I like to do is pick one area of my home to declutter just to kind of stay on top of it and make me feel a little bit productive without it being overwhelming. And instead of picking an area to declutter this month, the thing that I really needed to do today is to do our baseboards and clean our baseboards because I have not done that since we moved in back in October. This is something that I just never remember to do. So as soon as I put Joe down this afternoon, I went ahead and cleaned all the baseboards. <laughs> really good that it's done. If you haven't cleaned your baseboards in a while, apparently that's something you're supposed to do as an adult. So maybe that's something you can do this month. <laughs> okay, let's talk about July. July was quite a month. It wasn't a bad month, but I don't think I've had such a crazy, hectic, busy month in a very long time. And I said that about June. So just this summer in general, the vibes are chaotic, busy, overwhelmed. There were three weekends that I was out of town and that's not including our trip to Chicago. That was in June. I was at Taylor Swift one weekend, which was amazing, but that was just like a whole event, obviously. One weekend I was at like a bachelorette weekend with some friends. And then another weekend, Michael and I drove six hours away to a friend's wedding. And then of course, like we hosted the 4th of July at the beginning of the month. I am feeling a little bit drained at the end of the summer, to be honest. I know it's not the end of the summer, but in my mind, July is always the end of summer and I'm just feeling really tired even though I'm full of joy. Let's check in on our goals because with that being said, I feel like every day I don't even I can't even like place it. I just feel like there were so many things that we did that kept us busy every single day that I'm a little worried I didn't meet many of these goals, but let's check in. My personal goals for July, number 1 was to read just one book. And I did do this. I actually read two books this month. Look at me go. The first book that I read was Beach Read by Emily Henry. I shared about this one in a vlog and it was not my favorite. It was a little bit, a lot of bit cheesy and predictable. I needed something different. So the next one I read was The Younger Wife by Sally Hepworth. And this one was much better. This was very interesting. I really like her as an author. And this one was really good. It definitely kept me intrigued, but it wasn't super cheesy. It also wasn't predictable, which I enjoy. Those are the two that I read. And then my other personal goal was my whole caffeine dilemma and how I drank coffee like it was water. And I'm really proud of myself for this one. Honestly, both these goals, don't know about the rest, but these first two crushed it. I limited myself to one cup of coffee a day. I think there was once or twice maybe when I went out to coffee with a friend. I felt so much better. 
I would not let myself get up and immediately drink coffee. The only way I did that is if I chugged a bunch of water and I ate something like right as I woke up and then drank my coffee. But usually I would wake up, drink water and read my Bible. And then after a little bit, have something to eat and then have my coffee. But I definitely felt less jittery and like nauseous and anxious and like gross. That was very good for me. And it was also very good self-control and awareness. I didn't do my hair today and now I'm regretting it whatever. My first faith goal was to finish our women's Bible study that I had hosted this month and we did finish. And then my other goal was to create the next study. It's not created, but it's planned. We're not going to start it until September. We have the book that we're going to read and we kind of have like ideas of things we want to incorporate a little bit differently. I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be even better the next time. And then my other faith goal was to do a U version study with all of you guys. And we actually did two this month and I loved it so much. The first study that we did was about anxiety. And then the second one was about trusting God. I hope that if you did it too, you feel the same way. I would love to hear in the comments of this video, if you did it with us, how did you feel about it? Or what did God show you through it? Or just any kind of feedback. It was so cool to see. My favorite thing ever was sitting down in the morning to do my plan and seeing people like posting things as I'm reading too and just imagining all of us like sitting there reading our Bibles together at the same time was so cool for me. The only problem was that you version I learned has a limit of how many people you can do a plan with and my problem too was that I would invite the max amount but only like half of them would actually do the plan and so it's hard for me to know like can I switch them out with somebody else? It's just hard to keep track of so if I do it again, that's definitely something I need to keep in mind. Maybe I just need to look at like who is never doing them with us. It just seems like a lot of work. Either way, loved it. I can link the plans that we did down below just so that you can do them on your own because I highly recommend both of them. And again, if you did it with me, I would really, really love to read your comments about how you think it went or what stood out to you. And then my health goals, we're not gonna be shocked here that my health goals went in the trash this month as they always do. The biggest thing was I wanted to be more mindful of my food and just consuming more like healthy foods, fruits and veggies and less processed sugar and stuff. And I don't feel like I did good at this. I'm so bad at eating fruits and vegetables. Vegetables. I really am. I tried. I ate some. Not nearly as much as I'm supposed to. I guess that was all the goals that I set for July. That wasn't very many. Let's do some August goals. I actually am feeling really excited for August because it's going to be kind of a reset month for me. We have no real plans for August and I really just want to prioritize resting in August and not feeling like I have to be super busy because July really kind of burned me out from being busy all the time. That's like my biggest overall goal for August. I also think August will be a little bit strange with everybody going back to school. So I'm kind of anxious to see how that goes. My school that I worked at, actually they go back at the end of this week as you're watching this. So that will definitely be a little bit strange and um, I kind of talked about like how I feel about classroom setup happening and all of that in a vlog recently, but It'll be a little bit weird. Anyways, personal goals for August. My first personal goal is I really wanna to try to make a cleaning schedule for our house. And you might be rolling your eyes at this because have I tried this before? Yes, I have. My brain is so distracted and forgetful. My memory is horrible. I am just not to a place as a homemaker yet where cleaning like is something that's on the top of my mind. I think having a schedule for each day will one, kind of take the load off of a big cleaning day because I hate that. I've always hated it. But two, I think it'll just help me to literally not forget to clean. My next personal goal I've kind of already touched on, but I really want to prioritize resting more. I just want to slow down this month. I think that's the biggest thing. Because the summer has been so busy, I want to live a little bit slower. I also want to read at least one book, hopefully two. And my last personal goal is just kind of carrying over from July, my coffee goals of not letting myself wake up and chug coffee and then drink it all day long. More than anything, I think it's probably important for me to continue to drink water and eat breakfast before I have my coffee. And then if I really need to pick me up in the afternoon, like it's not the end of the world, I'm not that worried about it. And then I realized that I didn't set a financial goal for last month. I don't know why, I just didn't think about it. But August is actually the first month that we will not have my teaching salary. It went till the end of July, which is terrifying. Let me be honest with you. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous for it. I think my biggest financial goal for August is just to act and live like we are penny pinching because 
we will be fine otherwise i wouldn't have quit but it's definitely obviously a big shift to go from two incomes to one even though i've known it was coming i think it's different still knowing that my paycheck's coming and now it's not i just want to be more strict with myself on the budget and here's the thing is god always provides what we need and i know that and i trust that but there's a difference between trusting that he's going to make it work and then just like blowing all my money because i think god's going to give me a handout versus being wise and being a good steward with my money and trusting that god will provide and be faithful if we need more my last goals are my work goals and by work i mean youtube because this is now my full-time job in a vlog recently i talked about how in july i took kind of a detox from social media and this was so good for me it was only like four or five days like not long at all it was exactly what i needed but the problem is once i got back on it was like i fell right back into the same trap that i had been in and so what i think i want to try in august at least is to have one day a week that's kind of like a sabbath from social media i think this might be mondays mondays are usually my productive days anyway where i kind of like reset the house and get stuff ready for the week and do some youtube stuff and so i think that would be a good day to not distract myself with social media anyway i think having one day a week will reset me get me in the right headspace for the week i also wanted to extend this challenge to you as well if this is something that you You've been battling or thinking about lately all those things that i described in that vlog is kind of how you've been feeling too i would challenge you to do this with me just for one month just try one day a week see if it makes a difference i really am excited for it i think it'll be a challenge and that's kind of a goal i had for social media but in terms of youtube i would like to upload some more bonus videos this month like i said i took a little break and i didn't upload one sunday and then i didn't really post many bonus videos this month i also wasn't really vlogging a lot because I just needed a break. So in August, I would really like to just vlog more and not feel like I need to have these like crazy entertaining videos. I think my vlogs are my favorite videos to film and they're also the videos that always perform the best, which tells me that they are your favorite videos to watch. So it's a win-win. But in my head, I feel like I'm not a very good YouTuber if I just give you boring vlogs every single time. But, like who cares? And lastly, I wanted to share my July favorites with you. So I have a few favorites. I already shared the first favorite. It's the Osea Algae Body Oil. The stuff for real is so good. I have it on. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but it's just so soft and it lasts all day. My next favorite is this cute mug. How adorable is this? It's from Target. It's $5. It has these cutie little strawberries and I love it so much. And then my last favorite are... If you've watched any of my vlogs, this is not a surprise to you, but these are my H&M shorts that I wear pretty much daily. I have them in gray and black. They're high-waisted, they're so flattering, they're so comfortable. I wear them to bed, I wear them to work out, I wear them to run errands, lounge, literally anywhere. Favorite shorts I've ever owned. I think that that's gonna be it for this August reset. Hope that you enjoyed. Let me know how your July was. If you could describe your month of July in one word, what would it be? And don't forget to check out Osea using the link down below and use my code for 10% off. Thank you for watching and for allowing me to have sponsors and just supporting me. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. It helps out my channel so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends.